Earthbound News Conference with uh, Fox Business's Jerry Willis, Tea Party Patriots CEO Denny Beth Martin, and uh, out of this world market watcher Scott Martin. All right, so Scott, and with you, I want to begin with you, uh, not so much on the new findings from NASA, uh, but whether what Sean Spicer was outlining uh, will, will, will change this, this criticism the administration's been getting that it doesn't have a plan in place on the budget or for that matter a clear agenda on what it's going to accept or reject on tax cuts. Yeah, that's been really interesting rhetoric, Neil. In fact, just looking at the last eight years, even the last 12 years, uh, budgets have had these impasses. You know, they've, they've had uh, tax cuts that have not been paid for. I mean, look what's happened to the debt and deficit. So to, to proclaim the notion of saying, hey, we need to have these tax cuts paid for is about as good of an idea as, say, having Michael Vick run the ASPCA because you don't need that. You have growth. You have business spending. You have consumer confidence that'll come by way of these tax cuts that will pay for them. not this paygo stuff that we saw Obama pass some years ago that didn't work. You're actually going to have economic growth that will pay for these tax cuts. Well, you hope, that's you hope, what the right? American and, people and Jenny Beth see. Martin, that's a good question for you. The, the whole Tea Party movement, if you think about it, and who am I to remind you, was about watch this successive spending, watch that his deficits were just spiraling out of control. And the argument for tax cuts is that they could do the same thing. The near term, they're, if they're not paid for, now, I'm not, not always necessarily in that camp that you equate them to spending, but that near term, when you do without that tax revenue that comes from drastically lower tax rates, you have to wait a few years for the bang for the buck to come in. Are you, as a budget hawk and someone who really likes to avoid red ink, okay with that? Well, we have always, I agree with Scott in what he just said, that if you cut taxes, the economy is going to grow, so the money will come back in. And you're right, there will be a, a bit of a waiting period with it. What we want to see at Tea Party Patriots is not just tax cuts so the economy grows, but couple it with spending cuts, because we have, we have $20 trillion in debt right now. The government just keeps growing and growing and growing, and it's time to rein that in. I was encouraged to hear President Trump reiterate that he's going to address the, the government spending as well um, a little while ago. All right. A promise is one thing. If it's anything like my dietary commitments, uh, I, I, I don't know, Jerry. And I, I, I'm wondering whether the markets care. Um, so just put your market hat on. And regardless of your personal views, let's say we get big tax cuts, but they aren't paid for up front. This import tax, which was going to go a long way to doing just that, fizzles out, doesn't get support. They can't come up with the money they would need near term to, to offset whatever revenue they could lose from a tax cut up front. How are the market's going to respond? Well, you know, I think initially it might be a big thumbs up from the markets, right? But eventually you have to deal with the debt. And hey, look, what's wrong with a little fiscal discipline, right? Because at the end of the day, what we know about the Trump tax plan, which is not that different from the Republicans' tax plan minus border tax is that even with dynamic scoring, you're going to get two to three trillion dollars worth of revenue less. We're going to have less money to spend. And at the same time, over 10 we're talking years. about over 10 years, right? Over 10 years, right. sir. Correct. We're going to spend a trillion dollars on infrastructure. We're going to give back the Obamacare tax uh, increases. Uh, we're going to hire uh, 5,000 to 10,000 new ICE agents. You know, spending, spending, spending as far as the eye can see and no fiscal discipline. To me, this just doesn't make a lot of sense. Scott, the, the worry seems to be as well that um, if the deficits get worse, the debt gets worse, you're going to need a lot more than three or four percent growth to get rid of that. Um, what is, what, what is the number used in the back of your mind to, to, to justify what we could be about to say? You know, Neil, it's probably five or six percent. And I know that sounds crazy. Uh, Steve Moore would probably agree with me that that's possible, which we saw. I mean, we've seen those numbers before in this economy when it's unlocked. And I kind of disagree with Jerry. You know, Trump has come out as somewhat of a spending hawk. You know, he's attacked the cost of things and government contracts that have come out. And don't forget, some of the numbers we've seen out of Treasury in the last couple of years, record tax revenues, my friends. So maybe these, these uh, tax cuts aren't exactly paid for via other rollbacks and things like that, but there is money in the Treasury coffers that we can spend, that we can afford to maybe take down but in respect of getting Scott, economic growth going. Scott, look, already the expectations for the budget deficit, it grows by $9.4 trillion over 10 years. It's already going to be increasing, and we're going to add these other burdens to it. Look, 
all power to the Trump administration and making priority number one growing the economy. But you got to have a little discipline somewhere. And you're looking at the number right there. How much debt and how much federal debt do we have? 19.9 trillion. You know how much that is for each and every taxpayer in the country? $166,000, because we're the ones who pay it, right? It's not the people who aren't paying taxes. It's the taxpayer, $166,000. Yeah, right. just Too jump much. change, jump change. All right, guys, <laughs> I, I, seriously, I want to thank you all. We're learning more about, meanwhile, something that is out.